I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for an important date. No time to go. No time to wait. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Morning. Okay. All right. I think. All right. I think I've got everything uh, done up now. And sent out. Okay. I overslept again. This sleeping thing is getting ridiculous. Um, I, I can sleep. Apparently, for the last three days, I can sleep straight through my alarm. Like, without a doubt. Like, just right through the bitch. Like, it doesn't even exist. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, Lee. Good morning, Debbie. Like I said, apparently, I can sleep straight through my alarm. Uh, I wasn't as bad today as I was yesterday being late. But, yeah, I'm late. I'm late. Good morning. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so. Oh, geez, I'm tired. Good morning, bones. Good morning, Joyster. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, bones. Fucking, you're a light sleeper? Shit, dude, look, I slept straight through my damn alarm three days in a row. Like, I got an alarm set so I get up and do my morning feeds at 7 a.m. And I slept th straight through it three days in a row. Yesterday, I, slept, I didn't wake up till like 9 a.m. or some shit. I don't know what it was. You wake up, you hear a mouse. Normally, look, normally I don't sleep at all. I sleep like maybe two, three hours, literally two or three hours a day. Last three days, I have slept like a freaking champ. Like, insane. I guess that's the time to catch up. You know, it's crazy. But yeah, normally, yeah, normally if the freaking wind blows in two states away, I'm awake, you know? So literally, I'm, I'm just waking up as you know, because y'all know. Anyway, what's going on today? What's happening today? Uh, what is today? Today is the seventh day of Halloween. Uh, some of you lovely people are working haunts and having fun and doing stuffs. I, uh, been working a lot. I drove to Florida the other day for a shoot, drove back, came home, did this, did that, worked my other job. That's all I did Friday night one night. Finally, did me in. Yeah, we were, you know, yes, yeah, no, we, yeah. <laughs> We're getting older. We're getting older. It's hard to it's hard to you know run a haunt all night long and then freaking uh, bounce back in the morning. Good morning, Darren. What's up? What's up? Good morning. I'm late. I'm late. I slept right through the freaking alarm again. I just slept right through it. It was like I didn't know. You know, just sleep. Uh. Yeah. Good morning, Darren. Coffee's brewing, so at some point during this, I'm going to get up and walk away and let you listen to music for a second while I go get coffee because I need coffee in my life. Uh, I do, I do. I'm gonna walk right away from this damn computer and go get some, and, and, and y'all are gonna have to just like deal with it. <laughs> I need the Java, I need the Java in my life this morning. I'm exhausted. Oh uh, man, oh man, oh man, man. Yeah, there's no shame in that game. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm late three days in a row. Uh, it's like, uh, geez, not th it was two days ago. Now I, I I normally sleep between, you know, literally like two, three, sometimes four hours, and that's about it. That's 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 about my comfortability of sleeping about four hours. Three days ago, I slept for eight hours straight. It was so weird that uh, my manager came and ch did like did a life check on me. Like he came to that came over and like was like, "Are you alive?" Second, <laughs> second cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm fixing to get up and walk in there and get some while y'all while y'all converse with each other. While y'all sit here and y'all have y'all have conversations with each other in the chat room over there while I while I go get some coffee because that's fixing to happen here in a second. I'm waiting for it to brew. Oh man. Where's everybody? They they just don't they don't come that they, they, they don't know I'm on yet. We gotta I guess I gotta share it out or something. I don't know. I'm tired. I don't know this morning. 
Oh shit. Just got your second cup. Uh good morning. Oh uh, tell Alyssa I said good morning. Tell her I said, what's up, baby girl? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Well, that's funny. A mime is a terrible thing to waste. You're right. You're right, Bones. You're right. A mime is a terrible thing to waste. Uh, let's see here. I need to go to or right here. Right, that's what I need to do. Live morning feed on the Abaddon page. Late, but here. Post. There we go. There we go. Okay, so y'all ready? Are y'all ready to have a little conversation with yourself for a second while I go get coffee? Are y'all ready? I'm gonna need y'all to keep people in here and then like entertain each other while I run get coffee. Can y'all do that for me? I don't want an Ann. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm I, I literally just woke up. I slept through my alarm again, but I need coffee and I'm fixing to walk into the kitchen and go get some coffee. Because I, I, I put it to brew and then ran in here and got everything lined up to go live. So, because I was late again. So, y'all ready to entertain each other for a minute? Can y'all do that for me? You can listen to this pretty little song that's coming up. Good morning, Eric. Good morning. Y'all ain't getting this fun rain. Nah, it rained a little bit yesterday, but it didn't rain very, very long. It was like more like a sprinkle. More like a sprinkle. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Good morning now. All right, you'll talk to each other. You entertain each other for just a minute while I go get some coffee. What the hell is this song? It sounds like someone playing with twisty balloons. It's uh it's on the screen. Run dat by Puro Fugo. Huh. Alright, I'll be back. Sound like funk soul brother for a minute. Huh. All right, let me get my earphones back on. Get this back in the get back in the game here. All right, let's see what some people said. Uh, let's see. Man, adjusting my eyes to look at the screen. First instinct, it looked like a damn video game controller buttons. <laughs> uh, what's up, Joyster? Almost sound like funk soul brother. Worth a cup of coffee. Shit, I just got my first. Uh, exactly what it sounded like. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not listening to it. I'm making y'all listen to it. There's a difference. Uh, good. Alyssa's having a good morning. That's awesome. Let me turn this up. That doesn't sound too bad. All right. So, good morning, Nathila. Good morning, Barbie. Uh, I'm gonna try to have a good day. I'm, I'm really gonna try. Oh my god, that first sip of coffee that touches your soul, reaches down and grabs you by the gonads and tells you you're going to be okay. I love that first sip of coffee. Oh, it's such a beautiful thing. Alright, so, oh god. I'm trying to break shit over here. Okay, so, let's see what we got this morning. We got uh, all kinds of notifications. Holy crap. Y'all people just wait for me to go to sleep so you can freaking uh, message me or what? All right, let's see here. On on the TikTok. Did y'all like the TikTok videos yesterday? Uh, TikTok videos, we have more follows. 
We're up to 133, which is cool. This is cool because I don't I only just started this what three days ago or some shit. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty nifty. Pretty nifty indeed. And oh my god, it's some of the girls that were on TikTok. They're like. crazy all right let's see now instagram did y'all notice that yesterday the other day i had uh 666 followers on instagram i was excited that was awesome i uh of course screenshotted the shit out of it but we're up to 667 now somebody had to go and break the streak and i'm okay with that all right so instagram looks good twitter looks or not twitter uh Oh, TikTok looks good. Instagram looks good. Let's see. Uh, morning Funny Bones on third cup of coffee. Lucky. My favorite is the first coffee poop of the day. Absolutely. I haven't got a video. I'm going to send you late, later. Okay. That sounds good. I like I like getting videos. Uh, yes. My TikTok won't let me upload for some reason. Oh, that sucks. Have to figure that out. You're gonna have to figure that out because TikTok is pretty fun. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? What else is here? What's going on this morning? I gotta try to find. I'm trying to catch up on everything. I yeah, know Funny Bones is in there. We love Funny Bones. Funny Bones is a good dude. He's one of the best. Uh, looks like. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, everything looks good on this too. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah. 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 Okay. So now I'm done. I'm done. I think, except for emails. I still gotta check emails and check uh, that stuff. But uh, everything's looking pretty. I got one other. Went through all the accounts. All of you people have been answered now, except for on the Abaddon page. Uh, Debbie's just chilling. Good morning, Kenneth. How are you? Uh. My phone does, uh, doesn't let me approve access either. That's weird. I have no idea why that's weird. Um, oh, he's on the yard. Ah. All right, I yawned. There we go. All right, so so listen, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be uh, I think I'm gonna put myself on all the dating sites. What do you think? I think I should put myself on the dating sites, and if I do, should I use the white face or the red face as my background picture? I'm over my my profile picture. Which one do you think I should do? <laughs> Will be intimate on first date. Just saying. Oh yeah, it's freaking uh thought season, man. Everybody's gonna be everybody's gonna be slammed up on the uh on the haunt this year. Long nights. Long nights. You need even longer days because you're trying to get everything ready for the next night. Dating sites are janky. That's where I met all my exes. <laughs> I know they are, I know they're janky. They're pretty janky. Um I could go and like get up and go downtown and like meet people naturally, but uh, yeah, I met a lot of my exes that way too. So it's, I think it's just girls. I think girls are just, some of you girls are just bad. I think y'all just programmed wrong. Some of you, some of you, not all of you. Just the ones that I end up dating and, and apparently Bones ends up dating. Make sure you're in farms only. Oh my god, you did, I haven't told y'all this in a while, it's funny. Um, I told everybody before that I was going to use my face, my demon face, you know what I'm saying? And I was going to go up, uh, sign up to Christians only, Christian Mingle. And uh, I was going to say, uh, Angel in the Streets, Demon in the Sheets. And then use my face as my, uh, as my uh, <laughs> profile picture. That was, that's the dating site I need to be on, I think. You know, find me a nice nice woman that's, that's, that's sweet and kind and... And, and understands loyalty. <laughs> uh, yep. Angel in the streets, demon in the sheets. 
I could just start a start a damn dating site. How about that? What if I just own a dating site? I just start one. Abadonapollyon.com. Haunt and horror actor. Uh, uh, haunt and horror actor. Um, dating. Yeah. That could be fun. Oh god, I got I got like a shit ton of comments and I'm not seeing any of them. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Never tried a dating site. I, I'm actually on like one or two, I think. I don't know. Demonsonly.com. <laughs> yeah, we used to actors. Actors actors.com. Or something like that. What do you think? Does that work? Because you know what? Well, single thing sucks sometimes. Sometimes. Abaddonapollyon.com. Oh my god, Biggs is in the house. Good morning, Biggs. The clown is in the house. Good morning, Biggs. I don't know why, but it sounds like I'm overmodulating my microphone this morning. Am I overmodulating? Does like does my voice sound tin canny or some shit? It could be because I still have it set up for the demon voice and I, I never I never changed it back over to the uh to the regular voice. So I might sound tin canny. There we go. Good morning, Biggs. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm glad that you're here and love you much and all that good stuff, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Dating site for horror and the, and the, and the, and the, and the macabre. Macabre. I'm enjoying the single life right now. I enjoy the single life sometimes, but, you know, it's just, you know, just got out of a relationship because of, you know, the whole unfaithful thing on her part. And, uh, and now I'm looking to uh, browse the uh, goods again. <laughs> that makes sense. Good morning, jo uh, Juliana. I always have trouble saying your name. Uh, coffee's so good. I'm telling you, coffee's so amazing. The second sip, it went down my throat, touched my soul, and made me less stabby. Like I wanted to stab people this morning, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm good this morning. Um, Joyster's finally home. I take it. That's good. Uh, I can actually hear you. Woo woot! Yay! Doing a little window shopping. I haven't done. Yeah, I want to do a little window shopping. You know what? Somebody told me yesterday. It's funny because the, the, the mailorderbride.com is a real thing. I didn't know this, but you can go to mailorderbride.com. It is a real thing. I'm like, huh. I mean, I knew you could get mail order brides from somewhere, but the, the, the damn website mailorderbride.com really does exist. I, I think I'm gonna order two. I'll find one that's like really cute, and then find one that can cook really good. Got you some death wish and enjoy in life. Hell yeah. Yeah, I just, I thought we got a second sip of coffee. Second sip, not even second cup. Second sip just went down my throat just a couple seconds ago. Yeah, Courtney's husband showed me where, uh, uh, where it is. That was awesome. I don't know. I think we all struggle looking in life for a place to fit with someone else, you know? I don't think anybody wants to be alone. We want somebody to be with, but we also want somebody that's gonna be loyal and and kind and sweet and care for us the way we need to be cared for. And that's very hard to do in this world because people, uh, the world has changed. The world has just changed and uh, people aren't the same as they used to be. So it's, it's hard to find someone that has the same morals and values that you have. Uh, I'm not saying that they don't exist, it's just not as easy as it used to be. It used to be that when you met somebody and they liked you, well, they liked you and, you know, and, and it would take a, you know, an act of God to get them to move, you know, whatever, but not anymore, not anymore. Now it's like, they just kind of come and go. The relationships are expendable. I don't know what the return policy is, but that's what I was saying. I, I, I asked that immediately. I was like, what's the return policy? 30 days, and if they don't marry, wait, 30 days, and if they don't marry, they get deported. Really? Hell yeah. And in order to marry, marry me, they got to make goulash. I'm just saying, because I'm, you know, I'm going for the Russian ones. So they got to make a good goulash. If they can't make a good goulash, then no. Mm -mm. 
then I'm not interested. <laughs> That's funny. Damn, there's this girl on my page. It's cute as hell. Anyway, all right, let's see. Abaddon coffee minus coffee equals death to all from Alyssa. That is absolutely true. That is absolutely true. I am the most positive person you will, will, will ever meet in this universe if I have coffee. If I don't have coffee, I'm telling you, Mike, my manager, some days he walks in here and he and, and hands me a cup of coffee and walks out, doesn't say a word, and then he comes back like five minutes later and he goes, have you drank that yet? I'm like, yeah, goes, okay, now we can talk, okay? Russian broads are nuts? I know, they're all nuts, Bones, come on. No offense to any ladies in here, but I mean, I'm serious. I mean, it's gone from girls or girls used to be like, I'm not crazy. Now they like, they're like posting stuff about their multiple personality disorders and how they love to talk to the cat and how it talks back to them and stuff. Like it's common. You look on Facebook and like girls are posting, you know, uh, that their hero is Harley Quinn because they can relate. I'm like, oh shit. What did the what did the guy say? He said uh, he said uh, fifty percent of the women out in the world are medicated for some mental disorder, but the scary part is the other fifty percent are unmedicated. <laughs> they can't make ghoul. If they can't make ghoul, they're a fool. That's right. Don't play. You better come on with that ghoul, I'm Just saying. <laughs> Yo, so she can make the goulash. I like the goulash. Cordy said she got a recipe. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, without coffee, I, I'm, it's it's bad to approach me without coffee. Some days, some mornings, I can be kind of, I can be kind of snippy. I can be kind of snippy. I'm like, rawr. And then I see stuff like this, like this one. This one's ki this kills me. This kills me. I just this other this this is on my timeline. I'm looking through my timeline right now, just kind of catching up on things. There's only one guy on my friends list that I'm trying to impress. The only one I want. Unfortunately, he's taken. Then why are you still trying to impress him? If he's taken, leave him alone. Go find somebody else. Stop being a hoe. Hoe. Now. Let's move on to the next person because that person's a hoe. Use a hoe. Um, just one pot. Yeah, no. What it starts with one pot and goes from there. Okay, so let's talk about morals today. Let's do that. I'm gonna. You know what? Positive quotes. We're gonna turn that shit off. Let's look at morals. Moral quotes. That sounds like a good thing to talk about today. Does anybody got morals and values? You're roar, I'm a duck. Yes, I am roar, I'm a duck. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Every act of every man is a moral act to be tested by moral, not by economy. Uh, that's stupid. I don't think I'm going to find any good moral um, quotes. Morality is doing what is right regardless of what you're told to do. Eh, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, these are these are all junk. These are all junk quotes. Anyway, yeah, it's a great subject. It's just probably this. You can't. Everybody wants to turn. Uh, all the comments are like morals to religion, and that's not what I'm looking for. Basically, what I'm saying is, don't be a jerk. Okay, I never understood this. If you are with someone, and you put all of your energy into that relationship that relationship will be bulletproof i mean it will be amazing and bulletproof but if you i know right funny bones i know ha morals uh but if you if you have a relationship and you're out there doing everything you can to hide lie and deny and cheat then then what the shit like you're you're sabotaging yourself you know and be like more like oral <laughs> We have a moral contract here. You mean oral? Um, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, write that down. <laughs> uh, 
Anyway. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't see any good quotes. Don't be a jerk. How about that? Uh, people posting all kinds of political stuff this morning. There's nothing fun to talk about today. Uh, let's see here. It's hard to do to have a kid in the house. No, it's not. No, it's not. You send a kid to school or send him out to play. Uh, you everything the relationship with your partner must be the same or it don't work. That's absolutely right. You got to. Good morning, James. Go be. Squeaky the clown is in the house, peoples. I did more TikToks yesterday, Scurvy, and I took your advice. Listen, I did what you did. Look, I took the uh, the prosthetic scarf, and I only dotted it like like in certain spots with glue, like real lightly, and it worked just fine. It worked for all the TikToks, and I did a live yesterday with it on, and, and it didn't fall off. I was I was highly impressed with your uh, with your with your uh, idea. Yeah, everybody, everybody. Yeah, I, 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 I've called relationships here lately. I've called them TV dinners because that's what they are. They're like one-time use. You know what I mean? Uh, that's the way people act nowadays. You know, they get in a relationship and they're like, oh yeah, this is great for today, and then we'll see what goes on tomorrow. And it's like, no, that's not how that works. But it is now. Could be worse though. It could be a lot worse. You know? The universe always provides. Well, oh my god, those nails are amazing. Um, when uh, when the universe is ready for us to do certain things, the universe provides. It's the way it works. Things happen. When we need it the most, we get uh, what we need. Uh, like I've said before, the bird doesn't care. Doesn't The bird doesn't worry about where it's going to get food from. It just goes and gets food. Uh, same thing with us with life. We just turn it over, let it, let the universe deal with it. We can, we will be all right. <sighs> yeah, I do get a little, I do get a little racy. Oh, wait, I do or James does? Because if I get racy, I apologize. Not mean to. I don't, I don't mean to. If I do, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I've been trying to clean up my act too, like like clean it up with my my words and stuff. Not cussing so much. Jessica wants to talk about something I said. You said on one of your radio shows that haunted house actors aren't real actors. Can you explain why you said that? Oh no, I don't. I don't think that they're not real actors. I I think that I may have uh, misspoken then because no, haunted actors are real actors they're just actors in a different setting than uh than like i am for example you don't have cameras following you in a direction of production uh assistant or a producer yelling at you and set designers bumping into you and telling you to get the hell out of the way and everything while you're trying to work um haunt ha actors is an it, it is an actor it's just different then, like when I say I'm a real actor, I mean I'm an actor on TV and film, and it's two different complete genres. So it's not that uh, it's not that they're not real actors. It's just that they're an actors in different settings. Uh, you know, no cameras sitting in your face. You've got to you've got to entertain. It's just like when I talk about stage actors. Stage actors and theater actors are different than than TV and film actors. It's a, it's your acting techniques. Everything you do is completely different. On stage, you have to over accentuate and over exaggerate your movements and everything so the people in the back can see it. If you do that on camera, you look like a blooming idiot. Um, same thing with a the haunt. They're, they're real actors. They're just not the same kind of actors. So if I said that they're not real actors, then I apologize. That's not what I meant. Uh, I misspoke. 
that does that clear things up there uh jessica I know what you're talking about because normally I'm like I'm like yeah you, know, you know I'm not a haunt actor I'm a real actor and and I get it and I should probably reword that on how I say it because uh, no I I firmly believe that that haunt actors are amazing I, I do cameos at haunts all the time and um, it is very brutal work it's brutal all right let's see there are clowns. I feel sound sleep when I got our conversation not that late. Okay, three different types of acting. There are different, yeah, there are, there are there are all kinds of different types of acting, yeah. So it's not that they're not real actors, absolutely, because I mean, I, like I said, I work haunts sometimes. But there's major difference in all of them. Um, your haunt, your your entire acting style has to be different. You, you uh insanely different not just like a little bit different not like you can go from a haunt and pop on film set and be just 100 percent you know comfortable and walk right through everything uh or vice versa you can't come off a film set and go into a haunt and, and expect to be the top haunter of the year or something because it's just a different universe uh let's see what can we hop start building on there right uh Okay, talking to my daughter. Uh, she had a big wake up call, so it did. I uh, because I think they were actually pretty tame. Oh yeah. Oh, no problem, Debbie. You have a good morning. So I don't know. Wait, who asked that question? I don't remember. Jessica. Jessica, did that answer your question? Did I answer it appropriately? Or you? Dooby dooby doo. I was kind of waiting for it to reply, but I don't. It, this lag that we have on here is probably going to take forever before I get it. So we'll just move on. And then if I need to re go. Oh, okay. It did work. Okay, good. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have nothing but respect for pretty much. Pretty much every form of acting there are a couple of form of acting there there's a couple of styles of acting which i'm not going to get into on on this show but there's a couple styles of acting that i i think are absolutely ridiculous um one of them um yeah i'm not yeah i'm not even gonna voice on it because i know i know that i've, I've got a friend of mine that that's the way they the style that they used to act and it's like i'm like oh my god dude it's so ridiculous just stop oh god it's just silly um well i'll tell you it doesn't matter they base every single thing they do they're, they're kind of improv but they're not they base every single thing they do off of another actor and 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 I'm talking about like mannerisms, um, quotes, uh, style, like everything. So they'll be like, you'll be watching them act, and you'll be like, well, there's uh, there's Jim Curry. Wait, there's there's um, uh, what's the dude's name that did the mask? Jim, uh, Jim whatever. Anyway, that you'll be like, there's him. There's Jim Curry. There's there's damn John Wayne's in here like you know what I mean like it, it's it's they switch their entire mannerisms to mock a certain actor at a but they'll do like six or seven different actors in one scene it's like oh my god just stop man you're like you're you develop your own style you know what I mean that makes sense good morning Wyland good morning good morning Uh, so what do you think? Should they, everybody think I should, uh, yeah, so imperson, impersonations, impersonations. That's the word I was thinking of. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's like an impersonation acting style. And all they do is they act like other actors, but they're trying to do their own thing. But all they have to go by is other actors. And it's like, oh my God, stop. And branch off them copying others. All right. 
Yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking about like these are no, Jessica. You're right, but no, I'm talking about seasoned actors. I'm talking about people that I work with on set. They come on front of camera and then they act like freaking John Wayne. And it's like you know what I mean. But they they think that they're acting, like that that's their character. No, your character. That, that, like like you read the script, you know, and you look at the script, and you're like, no, your character is not a collaboration of Bella Lugosa, John Wayne, and Jim Carrey. You know what I'm saying? That is not your your character is not these three people. Your character is Bob. So it would be Bob. You follow what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It'd be like it'd be like if you're in your haunt. And your character is a demon, but then you start acting like a witch and a vampire and a werewolf and a and a zombie, and, it, and it's like, what the, what the hell are you doing? You're 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 a demon. Like, be a demon. You know what I'm saying? Or you follow what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like they swap genres or some shit. Jim Carrey. That's the word I was. That's the dude I was thinking about earlier. And if I ever do that, please, please, please tell me. I know, right? Uh, it's like, I get learning from the styles because there are a bunch of different styles in acting and I get that, but to make that your style is not a style. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, there's one guy that I work with and I, and I know this cause I've talked to, I've talked to production artists and so on and so forth. And every time this guy, like when we're out working or stuff, doing extra work or whatever down in New Orleans this one particular show, this guy shows up and, and everybody there just rolls their eyes. It's like, oh, the guy is like Christopher Walken. I'm not kidding. He, he, his style of acting, he thinks he's the best actor in the world. And yet, and he, he, he's a real nice guy to talk to. Talks normal, just like this and everything like that. But when he starts acting, he acts like the worst Christopher Walken movie you can think of. Okay, whatever the worst Christopher Walken, not Chris, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's bad. It's bad, so bad. And and when he when he comes on stand, everybody's like, oh shit, this guy's here. Now we gotta put up with him all day long. Yeah, we're doing it in real life. <laughs> this is funny. Like, you know, I, I, I pop at a demon and I drive downtown all the time. You know, that's funny. I remember you could use some dead flights. I did. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning. Not staying true to their true persona. Not staying true. Not staying true to their character's persona. So I mean, like, imagine, uh, imagine if you're if you're watching a movie at Friday the Thirteenth or whatever. You're watching Friday the Thirteenth and. Uh, and old uh, Jason comes out of the woods and goes, Hey, where's all the bitches at? I'm going to stab one. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, what the fuck? What the hell's going on here? You know what I mean? Like, this is not, this is not cool. <laughs> be, is, this a, is this a horror movie or a comedy? What's, what's going on here? You know what I mean? Uh, funny bones? Yes, I have. I, I live in New Orleans, bro. <laughs> Everything I eat is spicy. <laughs> We run, we run on a complete uh, two-ended burn diet. That is true. Bob is the only person. Who, well, I'm sure there's probably another one. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. So that's funny. He is hilarious. Uh, Scurvy's got one of the best TikToks there is. Absolutely. Are you egotistical as well? That's why I think they suddenly branch out. I, dude, I know. But you know, it's the same thing in haunts. It's the same thing in haunts, too. Like, there's been haunts that I've worked at that you, you can tell. There's, that, there's always that one or two people that think that they are the best haunt actor at the haunt and they everything should revolve around them because they're the best actor there and it's like come on you know what i mean like it's a team effort man you know did i tell you that some dude shoved 20 out of my mouth on friday to go scare his group of friends <laughs> that's amazing actually you did you told me but that's amazing i didn't know the rest of the part of it <laughs> that's great 
If anybody would like to shove $20 bills in me or Funny Bone's mouth at any time, we do accept, uh, we do accept that. James, Chubby, James, you know, James, I've got a shovel here for you, by the way. I, I want you to know that I've got a shovel here for you. I found a pink shovel. I just gotta, I've got it. Ugh. This coffee is so amazing. It's so amazing. Oh man, yeah. So we've we've talked about this morning. I think I think it's a really really good idea if I start Abaddon Apollyon dating <laughs> site <laughs> for actors and horror actors and haunt actors, and I think that'd be fun. I think that would be great. I need to start that. And uh, disclaimer: everybody's crazy. Uh, we like to cover ourselves in blood, ook, and goo, and go scare people. We uh, are definitely mentally. Um, <laughs> we're definitely mentally broken in areas i love it <laughs> anyway let's say paypal is in my mouth just swipe your credit card down my never mind Shh, don't say that out loud at pay pay funny bones at gmail.com i know right right uh i've got a project I, wait uh, i got to get that project that we talked about a couple weeks ago oh uh, it's not for me. That's for James. Okay. I want certain people who try to take over when they don't have the know-how or the skills to run the show. I know, Eric. Exactly. Yeah. You got the people. We were talking about that the other day. Yes. Clown Tinder. Yes. Um, uh, Tinder, Tinder Jack in the Box. Um, anyway, when we were talking about the other day about one of the haunts that I go to every once in a while, um, there was this girl that came down there. First year working there ever. First year working a haunt ever ever and uh she was running around telling people that she was part of management and she was running everything and she was running the show and she was hired as a management and everybody had to listen to her and it was like uh no baby girl like 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 she didn't even take it in consideration that these people talk to each other and have meetings and stuff about the haunt <laughs> it's like stupid she didn't last long she got fired Uh, I was the Courtney. I, no, I get it. Yesterday, I had the demon. I had the devil face on. I had the red face on, and I was so fixing to go sit down by the church and tell people they need to go inside because they were sinners. Oh, that's fun. That's fun having a kid there. Kid, kids are great. Kids, kids are great at haunts. That's the. You want to creep me out at a haunt? Have a kid walk down the hallway on me. Have a kid and ha yeah, have a kid do the old. Uh, what was that movie? What was that movie where the uh, the the kid was down the hallway and ran and jumped in the door? Uh, it was a zombie movie. Um, Day of the Dead was it Day of the Dead? I don't remember that kid in that hallway with the creepy run. Yeah, that that, mm -mm, that don't put a kid in front of me. Might get booted down the hallway <laughs> out of reflex. Kids are creepy. I love kids. Don't get me wrong. I love kids. Kids are creepy. Kids are is creepy. Anyway, all right. So we're back. Back to the thing. Good morning, Joshua. How are you? Throwing some. <laughs> huh. Yeah, skeleton hand. She had the skeleton hand things. She was just walking up, caressing people's face and giggling. That is that's pretty creepy. Yeah, that's that's definitely creepy. We're gonna have a later bus of wild and crazy people pull up, screaming her name, and grab her and throw her in the bus. Huh? <laughs> Uh, I'm doing antelope character at the haunt I work for I work at some of the confessions I've received I know right oh scurvy's leaving bye scurvy love yous shovels It's gonna be an amazing day today. I don't even know what I'm gonna to do today. I think I'm gonna play video games, but I got work tonight. I know I do. I've taken three days off. I've had three dollars off. Or three dollars off. I've had three days off. I can't even think. I haven't had enough coffee yet. I like Father Evil. He's a good dude. I had a picture of me with him. Oh, January. 
So my next thing, you know, I've canceled everything for the rest of this year, but in January, I am going to Haunt Con in New Orleans. Um, if anybody else is going to Haunt Con in New Orleans, let me know. Because uh, I will be going to Haunt Con in uh, New Orleans. I'm, I'm not going as a Abaddon. I'm going down as myself. I'm going to go meet. I want to go meet Grave Digger. Uh, I might take a face with me just so I can take some pictures and put them up there. Uh, but I know Cherry's coming down and Grave Digger's coming down. And I want to go meet Grave Digger and hang out with him for a little bit and his wife. So I will be at uh, Haunt Con in New Orleans in January. Just let everybody know. It's going to be fun. Jessica, I'm looking at your profile. Your freaking haunt pictures are on point. Your makeup's on point. A lot of this stuff, by the way. Looks good. Looks good. Definitely looks good. Yeah. L looking. Looking. Spooky. 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 All right. So... What else we got today? What else is going on today? The look at Walmart employees faces with cloud. I know, right? Audra, what's going on this morning? Absolutely nothing. I woke up late again. I slept right through my alarm. Uh, then I had to make coffee. While the coffee was brewing, I came in and I started the live feed. Then I went and got coffee. I'm on my first cup. I am just waking up and trying to wrap my head around being alive today. And sitting here just discussing things with y'all talking today. We haven't really talked on a subject. Well, I was going to talk about morals, but I did for a second. But eh, just eh, whatever, you know. Recent events have made me question humanity's morals lately. But eh, you know, is what it is. We're going to have an amazing day today, though. I think I'm going to play some uh, video games. I might actually get up and leave the house today and go do something. I don't know. Maybe, possibly, doubt it. Um, yeah. What the hell am I listening to? It's called Bro Step, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're going away. That's not much better. I'll listen to this one. Okay. So, yeah. So that's what's going on today. I am uh, thinking about signing up to some dating sites and uh, seeing what's out there. And uh, since I am uh, single again and uh seeing what's out there local and uh or far far away i might sign up to that mail order brides site and just be done with it i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do today it's gonna be something it's gonna be a cold one today no nah, it's it's always hot down here um, i live on the i live on the on the gulf coast i live right outside of new orleans on the beach so I'm always nice and warm down here. I mean, it does get cold in the winter, winter, but but not too cold, not crazy cold. Like we don't get snow every year and all that crap. So it's nice out. It's probably shit. It's probably 70, 80 degrees out there right now. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see what let's see what the weather's like. Let's see. It is it is 72 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. Why? Thank you, Athila. Uh, Athila. You know, I know, I know that I'm always saying your name wrong. Is it Alithia? Is that correct? Alithia? I don't know. Um, yeah, it is 72 degrees outside. Precipitation zero. Humidity 90%. That is how I am on the beach down here. It is always humid. But yeah, the high today is 89. 89 for today. I saw on Friday, the temps drop down to 35 degrees. We get about 65 degrees at night. Um, it's the low tonight, 65. It looks like this week, the uh, Saturday is supposed to drop down into like 56. So, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, 72. 72 today is the high. As well, it's 72 right now. The high is 89. But yeah, it's 72 degrees out right now. It's nice. Go sit on the porch weather. Sit on the porch, drink a cup of coffee, wave at the neighbors, then shoot them. I mean, then, uh, then wave at other neighbors. Yeah, mm, damn. So I thought about the other night going and doing a doing a little. Doing, I got a fire pit on the beach, and I was doing I was doing down a fire pit and 
start a little fire and yelling at the people to get off my beach in face like full costume I thought about doing that again the other day but I didn't do it I ended up going out and singing karaoke at a bar so that was fun if you like death metal or, or heavy metal my husband's been listening to some Mongolian man, Mongolian metal is pretty actually pretty cool yeah Mongolian I, I will give you that Mongolian metal is pretty cool especially when they do the throat stuff that's pretty neat um that's pretty cool yeah good morning Zach it's like Missouri 90% plus yeah every day it's not being a landlocked state I mean they do that yeah yeah that's true yeah Missouri's always been I like high humidity though I think it's because of all the water features but like down here we got the swamps on one side we got the ocean or well, the Gulf of Mexico on another side and then we've got the uh, yeah just water everywhere it's just so it gets hot the water goes straight up comes right back down we can it, we will have and this is normal in the summertime in the summertime we, we, you know it'll be zero, zero chance of rain but uh it'll get so hot that uh the water evaporates goes up and falls right back down so they'll have what what's called uh what day showers or whatever you want to call them where the sun will be shining it'll be nice out the water just it goes straight up and then comes right back down and then that's it it's like you'll get 10 minutes of a crazy shower in certain areas and then it's done because like it just it evaporates the water so quick the water goes up can't handle it can't handle the weight of the water so it comes right back down you know good morning Zara how are you sun shower that's it sun shower yeah day shower sun shower yeah leapfrog studios is awesome too I love leapfrog studios I love his uh they've got one he does it's uh uh toto the toto song he does that i absolutely love and my daughter loves his uh rendition of the frozen song uh i guess we got more coastlines on the lake of the ozarks than the entire state of California. yeah i guess right yeah you don't really have to have a lot of uh like you don't have to be on the ocean or in a swamp if you got a lot of water you know it's 46 there oh my gosh it's 70s here. Oh, it's raining in Alatucky. It rained here for a little bit yesterday. It sprinkled yesterday, but it didn't really rain rain. And there's uh, it's not supposed to rain today. The sun's out. It's gorgeous outside. I'm looking at the security cameras right now, and it looks really nice outside. Today would be a good day to sit because, you know, like I said, it's in the 70s, so it would be a good day to sit in the backyard and uh chill outside today it'd be nice or if i were into tanning it'd be nice to go lay on lay on a blanket outside today and just chill out in the sun my daughter was like no he screwed up but i like it <laughs> oh, i put a song on from an artist called grave digger the song is called be wary last time i put a song on from you i got muted <laughs> but I am going to find it. So now, now if I play this, am I gonna get? Am I gonna get? Uh, am I gonna get muted? That's the question. Because uh, I don't. If you play your music from like a different source and it's in the background, sometimes they don't ping you. But it, mine goes directly into the stream, so they usually ping me. Uh, let's see, it's sixty-eight. My bones, my bones tell me it's getting down to ten or less this winter. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea, Courtney. I have a job interview today. They are not offering me anything near what I'm worth, but it's the first thing in a week, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I mean, you can always take a job now and then uh, upgrade your job. I am not definitely committed. Uh, I've got it lined up. I'm going to listen to it. I I'll, I'll check it out in a minute. Um, you know, when it comes to work and jobs and stuff like that, you, uh, you take the job. If you get offered the job, take the job, but don't stop looking. Never stop upgrading your life. 
always try to do better. So, I mean, you can take the job, but keep looking. And you don't tell them that, though. You know what I mean? You're like, yeah, I'm, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, you never know. It might turn out that you really enjoy the job and, and you can progress quickly up the ranks. Uh, or you might find something else and you can just, you know, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, but something else has came up. The best thing about this is life is, I mean, what, we got 70, 80 years if we're lucky. You know, it's it's a blink of the eye. So who cares what someone thinks? If we get a better job, we'll get a better job. No one's no one can hate you for bettering your life. And if they do, then they're not on your side anyway. Facebook pinged you from look, I, I ain't kidding you. It was about uh it was a couple months ago when I was getting pinged for everything. I had somebody reporting everything I did. I literally had like 2,000 reports in a matter of a couple days. Um, but I was doing a live feed and they pinged me for my music, right? It said, if you have to stop playing this music now or we're going to shut your stream off, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then they killed my stream. So I came back on and I came back on with no music whatsoever, nothing, just my voice. And they pinged me again. And they knocked me offline, they, you know, and I'm like, what in the shit? So I came back on, they pinged me again. It was somebody reporting me. I was like, are you freaking serious? I was pissed. The only thing constant in this world has changed. That's all right. All right, Tanya. Um, thank you so much for coming in this morning and chilling out with us. We love you very much, and you have an agree ama a great, amazing day. I can't speak, but yes, great, amazing day. Um, yeah, yeah. So upgrade yourself. Always, always upgrade yourself. You know, if you want uh, a nicer pair of shoes go get them live live life you know what i mean live life to live life don't hey I, I, uh, it kills me that people are so um afraid of living you know it's it's crazy hey bigs is at work bigs you're still here i love you man i love you man you don't mind Uh, I do work from home for the most part. My when I when I'm acting, I have to go out in the world. But when I'm doing my blueprinting, I do work from home. The only problem with that is, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, you're so lucky!" No, the only problem with that is, is I'm always at work. If I'm home and I'm awake, then I must be available apparently to them. So if I'm here, then I'm working, and uh, that's good some days. But other days, it's like I just want to go watch a movie and I can't because of the, what you just heard in the background. My phone goes off. Uh, from now, I work nights predominantly, so I work from 7 p.m. to you know 6, 7 a.m., which is why I put my live feeds at 7 a.m. But I'm telling you, I get emails and calls all day long when I'm supposed to be sleeping. So it's like, geez, you know. Hello, you mind? All right, let's see who messaged me. Let's hope it's a callback. We really, I'm really looking forward to a callback today. Hopefully. Nope, it's plenty of fish. Somebody wants to meet me. Jeez. Somebody wants to meet me that I really don't want to meet. More than likely. Let's open it up and find out. I'm serious. I told you I was going to join Date Nap. I told you. I'm getting older. I want to be alone. I want to find. I want to find somebody. I don't even know where plenty of fish is on this damn thing. Like I don't even know where it's at. I know I've got it. I just don't know where it's at on my phone. That's how much I open it. That's how. That's how. Obviously, I, I'm. I'm on here all the time. Obviously, I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Uh, let's see. Are you ready to dive in? What? I'm already a member. Oh God. Yeah, I, I don't even know my username and password, so I don't even know how that's gonna happen. Um, log in. That is not the right thing. I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing now. Uh, there's nothing available where I am now. Just the freaking sticks. Nothing but farmland here. Be a farmer. Uh, seriously, come to Oklahoma. I can set you up very nice. 
hide but for the weekend yeah no joke i wish i could go hide for the weekend um for reals for reals we're gonna try this password we're gonna see if this works you know what's obnoxious when you get lumped into those random group chats that teens put together and they try to video chat you and troll you beating kids should be legal again absolutely yeah that that actually irritates me too And there's no way to like you got to figure out you have to oh i figured out my password that's awesome so um you you have to figure out who added <coughs> holy shit where'd that come <coughs> holy crap two sneezes out of nowhere um you got to figure out who added you to the group so you can block that person so they don't re-add you into the damn group too which sucks just trying to figure it out oh my goodness All right, let's see. Who viewed me? Yeah. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, man. Thank you, man. I needed that blessings. I need all the blessings I can get. So, plenty of fish is a joke. It is. It is just like oh my god. So something I've noticed on some because you know I told you I was going to join Dayton site and I did. So I joined two, matter of fact. And both of them so I'm looking through the girls on the dating site and I'm like oh well she's kind of cute and I go to the profile and I look at the profile and I'm like oh she was kind of cute 55 years ago when she was 30 I'm like what in the hell like all these I, I don't know why but I, grandmothers love me great great grandmothers love me for some reason but they'll be like you'll see their picture and they look you know in their 30s or you know in the late late 20s early 30s something like that and you're like oh she's kind of cute and then you look at her pictures and yeah she's literally you know 75 years old i'm like what in the hell are you doing grandma like come on now oh yeah so and then, and then of course you start. I start questioning. I'm like, well, is that all? I mean, am I that ugly that, or that unattractive that the only thing I can attract are people that are like, you know, like one step in the grave? And then I start thinking, well, I mean, do they have money? Because I mean, they're not going to live that long. <laughs> That's evil. Granny had a good boy, now they want a bad boy. I know, right? I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, what are you serious? Granny looking to get something for the kicks back. I know, right? Like, no, I'm serious. Like, I mean, if I could, if if you were here with me right now, I could open up plenty of fish and I could show you, and you'd be like, what in the hell? I'm like, I know. It's the only thing that messages me is like, I don't know if I have a setting on there or something that's messed up. But I'm telling you, no one under the age of like 70 messages me. It's like, what is going on here? <laughs> yeah, well, no, I'm these these 70 year old plus women are chasing me, and I'm like, no, no, thank you. They can go to grannyslove.com, grannies grannysonly.com or something. <laughs> Elder, elderly.com. Get back in your nursing home, lady. Ugh. Get it, mama, right? But we have troubles for that, okay? Like I don't I don't have to take up that slack because we have troubles for that, okay? <laughs> Troubles the clown can handle the 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 cougars and the cougar grant cougars mothers. Yeah, right. If you're over thirty, yeah, absolutely. Funny bones is absolutely right. Y'all read what he said. It's too long for me to read it, but yeah, absolutely. What funny bones said. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm over the age of thirty, so therefore, um, get with the picture. Or get out. Are we doing this or not? This this kind of thing. You know what I mean? So here's the deal. All right, are we dating? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to Walmart, get some food, and make some dinner tonight. What do you want for dinner tonight? It's like it's like 
you get into a relationship with me and we've been married for 20 years. It's this, it's like that. All right, what bills we gotta pay? Uh, okay, what do you want for dinner tonight? Okay, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's instant, like, whatever. I ain't got time for it. I just, I just, I just move right into the whole freaking we've been married for 20 years thing. You know what I mean? You have 32 bags of okra in the freezer? <laughs> I like okra. I like fried okra. Uh, fried okra is one of my favorite foods. Is I had a woman message me, and I'm not going to say, uh, I'm not going to say anything about her ethnicity or anything like that. I'm just going to say that this woman was probably close to 550 pounds, 600 pounds. And I'm not even kidding. Like, I mean, she was a very, very large woman, which is okay. Well, that's fine. But for her on rights, that's fine. But she messaged me and what she messaged me was, do you like fried chicken? That's how she started the conversation. I'm like, oh, well, hell yeah, I like fried chicken. <laughs> but yeah, that's how she started the conversation. I'm like, what in the hell is going on here? Dating sites are just weird. Uh, good morning, Brad. How are you? I hope you're having an amazing day today. We are, we are talking about uh, grandmothers on dating sites right now. But yeah, this this woman, this very large woman, the, her idea of flirting with me on this dating site was asking me, do you like fried chicken? And then proceeded to tell me her recipe and how she can cook the shit out of some fried chicken. I'm like, that is awesome. She's looking to get greased up. <laughs> she, she's... She's the type of woman that she looked at me. I'm too, I'm, I'm, well, I'm sorry. I'm not take that back. I got to tell you this. I've lost more weight. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm down to 193, but she would look at me and say, you need to eat. No shame the game. If you just try to get your cotton candy wet, be up fun about it. Looking for a partner in crime. Be like, yo, let's go rob a bank and some shit. It's up front about that. This dinner is getting cold. That dinner is getting cold. I know, right? It's like, yeah, it's just like I, when, when I get into a relationship with someone, it's just like, boom, we're, we're doing this. It's, it's, there's no playing, playing around. It's like, okay, sit down. Let's, let's, uh, let's figure out what we're doing. And, uh, and it, and it equals out with, um, what's for dinner? What do you want to eat? What, what, what bills need to be paid? What do you want to do this weekend? It's just like, just, it's like we've been together for 20 years. Did you eat the chicken? No, I did not eat the chicken. No, no, I did not. I did not eat the chicken. I do like fried chicken, though. I ain't gonna lie about that. Yeah. You like, you like pie with that chicken? <laughs> I do like pie, actually. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna later do my coffee video. Okay. Hello. Oh, well. Welcome back, Adana. Good morning. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, I do like chicken. I do like chicken. I love pie. I love pie. I love, uh, I love apple pie. I love cobblers too. Uh, so I don't eat sweets very often. I really don't. I don't, I don't eat that ice cream very often. Anything. I don't just don't eat sweets very often. But if you bring me a peach cobbler, uh, any, pretty much any kind of cobbler, blackberry cobbler, peach cobbler, any kind of, you bring me a cobbler, especially when it's hot. Oh my God, I'm in heaven, you know, or a nice apple pie or Oh yeah! Oh, a key lime pie! Oh man! You want you want to you want to impress me? Show up with something baked. Pie or cobbler? Yeah, that 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 definitely makes me wake up and says hello. Ross well, says it's a pleasure meeting you, Tennessee. Absolutely, man. That was awesome meeting you, and everybody too. Yo, when I was down in Tennessee, I went to some chicken joint. It was garbage. I know, right? Yeah, that yeah. Yeah, peach cobbler for the win. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. But no, look, uh, there's a there's a there's a few chicken places down here. You know, of course, we got the Kentucky Fried Chicken, we got the Popeyes Chicken, we got all this chicken places, right? There is a gas station on a road called Dito. It's Dito Road. All right, there's a gas station on this road that I swear to you has a hole in the wall. It it looks like somebody took a chainsaw and cut a hole in the wall and put a piece of board down as a little countertop. And there's a little kitchen on the other side of this wall. They make the best fried chicken I have ever had in my life. Like I'm not even kidding you. They make uh, they have they have these uh, uh, like kielbasa sausages. 
uh, this boudin and kielbasa sausage that's amazing. It's, it's like one of the best places to eat on the Gulf Coast, and it's literally a freaking hole in the wall in a crappy little gas station, and it's one of the best places in the world to eat. <laughs> Courtney, you're gonna make me some ha homemade cobbler? Oh yeah, I'd love you forever. I yeah, I love cobbler. You make an apple pear cobbler? Oh see, look, y'all are talking my y'all are talking my language now. I don't eat sweets very often, but if you come at me with a cobbler, you've got my attention. Good morning, Donna. The, you're the you're the only ten I see. Did you hear that while you were here? No, I didn't hear that. Cross big and stitch ate there. It was horrible. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I I heard about the chicken. Bones Bones told me the chicken was garbage. Hole in the wall. Yeah, some hole some hole in the walls are very good. Yeah. Good morning, Donna. Good morning. I was late too. I, I, I overslept. I slept right through the alarm again. I slept straight through the alarm again and didn't get up until like 7 15, 7 30, something like that. I don't know. Um, like, like smooth. When I, when I woke up, the alarm wasn't even going off anymore, it, it had shut off. It was like, no, we're done. I ignored it for too long and it shut off. But I, when I were up there at, at CreepyCon, I was so busy and I was so disgusted with some of the things that happened up there with some of the people and whatnot that I was like, I went straight from the convention to the hotel. Um, we went out to eat with uh, Biggs and them uh, the first night and really enjoyed that. That was amazing. But after that, it was like we just kind of ate wherever. Um, I don't think we, I don't even think we went out and ate anywhere. Um, uh, I went out to an IHOP once. Uh, other than that, I think it was just hotel, um, room service. Yeah, I probably should, we should have just ordered pizza. Um, yeah, I don't think I, I don't think we went anywhere to restaurants out there really. Um, like any real restaurants. Uh, no, I didn't go to Market Square. Um, I was, I, 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 without saying too much, simply because of, you know, I don't want to, you know, pull up past, but there, there was some, I ended up waiting on people that didn't show up a couple times because I was told to be someplace and they went somewhere else. Yeah, that, that happened a couple times during CreepyCon, so. And uh, I honestly don't think I'm going back next year. I really don't. I don't think I'm going back next year. Uh, as, as you if this one group of people goes, because they were talking about taking over and da 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 da, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, just, I'm probably not going back. Uh, and on, um, yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know. I haven't even looked to see. I don't. Even, I haven't even looked to see if. Uh, if uh, there's any other conventions going on at the same time, but uh, yeah, I'm probably not. I'm, I'm probably not going back to PB on. I don't work at the Crown anymore. There's no sense in coming. That's right. So you don't work at the Crown anymore. So there's no sense in coming. I and and I'm and I hate y'all's parking lot up there. By the way, your parking lot attacked my car one day. There's you've got a curb down there that's just does. When you first pull in the downstairs one, you have to go around this big ass curb, and I turned too short, too short, and. Uh, and uh, then it underneath my, my car in one spot because you can't see the curb. You can't see it when you're coming down the ramp and you're making the right and you're coming around. They got this damn curb there that you can't see. So the first time I went through there, I hit this damn curb. I got out and I had I look. I was like, what the hell did I hit? And I got out and looked and I was like, what the shit is this? It's a good curb sticking out of nowhere. Just just sitting there. I'm like, what the shit is this? So yeah, your garage sucks ass. And I was going to say something. I was like, I didn't. I was like, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the guy that walked up. Yeah, the, yeah, we went outside and uh, he, he asked me to marry him. Do you remember? Yeah, that weirdo, dude. Yeah, I kind of I kind of ran him off. Oh, the Oklahoma Commission? No, I haven't. I've got I've got a list. I meant to get my list from uh, 
from Mike yesterday, and I never did. Uh, I got sidetracked with a bunch of stuff, but uh, I know there's like two. Uh, but the stairwells aren't monitored, right, isn't it? Right. Uh, there's two or three conventions in Oklahoma that I am interested in going to, and it all depends on the film shoot next year uh, that I'll be at. And so. Uh, Brad, that was that was hilarious. Actually, I, I I have to admit that was hilarious. That dude was weird as shit, but that was hilarious. Um, and I walked out and he was like, da 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 da. Will you marry me? I'm like, hell no. Get the better, get the hell away from me, crackhead. <laughs> I don't beat your ass here in the parking lot. <laughs> oh shit. That shit was funny. But yeah, there's we got weirdos everywhere. But yeah, he was straight molesting you. That was funny. <laughs> I hadn't thought about I hadn't thought about that and since I left. Oh, that was, it was hilarious. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't think I'm going back to Creepy Gun. I would like to get with everybody, uh, some of you anyway. I'd like to get with some of you and figure out a convention that we can all go to and hang out at together that would be locally uh, accessible to all of us or something, you know? work with you guys and find a conference to go to but uh there's like like i said there's a there's a there's a a good chance i will not be coming back to creepy con and if i do i'll get my own booth far away from everybody or else i'll just come as myself you know what i mean but i can go up and hang out with jason whenever the hell i want to you know what i'm saying like i know that jason would have me up there whenever i wanted so i don't have to go to a convention to hang out with my friends but yeah, we definitely need to find a place where we can all go and chill out for the weekend. That's what I was talking about. Like Jason, we were talking about doing the cabin this year instead of doing a convention. We're all trying to work and get masks and hang out. I think we're gonna. I think this year coming up, we're gonna rent a cabin in uh, Pigeon Forge or some shit. I don't know somewhere, and uh, we're gonna take a week and go hang out at the cabin as friends and and sit in front of the fireplace, drink coffee, cook, fish, you know, do manly things or whatever. I will invite a few people and just hang, hang the frick out for a week. Um, no conference, no bullshit, no mask. I mean, we can have masks. We do live feeds and stuff like that, of course. But it'll be predominantly just chill the shit out and hang out for a week. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to doing that. That sounds like awesome. And then I'm still looking for land, too. So whenever I do my land... Uh, well, all right, so here's the deal. I've got eight years. My daughter is 10 years old. Eight years. In eight years, I want my house built, my forever home built, and my forever home is pretty decent. It's a pretty decent sized place and everything. It's nice. Um, and when I get my house built, I am definitely going to be having a, 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 a what is the, what is it called when you move into a place? The party when you move into a place? Um, not a welcome home party. What is it called when you, uh, when you, when you build a house, whatever, and you have a little party? To and you know invite everybody over to to the house, check the house out when you first move in. Anyway, I'm thinking about doing one of those, so I'll be inviting in certain certain people. Housewarming, yes, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'll be doing a housewarming party where I'll be inviting a few people over uh, to hang out uh, for a few days. So that'd be a lot of fun. But yeah, this this year coming up, we're gonna rent a cabin, and I'm gonna invite a few people, and if they can come, then that'd be awesome just to hang out for a week and chill, you know? <coughs> uh, probably, probably just have a movers movie in. Honestly, we talked about this. I talked about this with my manager and I, with my financial advisor. When I build the house, I am probably going to go ahead and put all new furniture and everything in it as well. I'll put all that into the same uh, money pot. That way I can, um, I have a person that's uh interior decorator, dec decorator, 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 whatever. Anyway, decorator. Yeah. And I think I'm going to just buy all new furniture and whatnot. Now, of course my office stuff and all that'll go with me, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and purchase all new furniture. That way everything in the house is new when I move in. think that's what I'm going to do now of course there's some artwork and there's some other stuff that I am going to take with me 
but pretty much everything else in the cell. I've got, a, I've got, <laughs> all right. So you know, believe it or not, I have over 4,000 books. I'm not kidding you. 4,000 books. Um, I answered an ad years ago. I answered an ad about some rare books at a library up in Pennsylvania that were for sale. It was like $200. So I drove up there. I got with a friend of mine. We actually drove up there in an Alfa Romeo, okay? A convertible Alfa Romeo. We drove up there expecting to pick up maybe 10, 15 books, maybe 20 books, $200, blah, blah, blah. We get up there and the lady's like, where's the truck? I'm like, what truck? She goes, where's the truck? And I was like, listen, lady, I, I sent you the money. We we're just here to pick up a few books. And she's like, uh, no, you sent me the money and you bought all of them. It was a library that was closing. Uh, they were closing the library and they had to get rid of everything. And I purchased the entire library. So we had to go get a U-Haul for 200 bucks. We had to go get a U-Haul. And it took us three days to get all the books in the U-Haul. I went through some of them. And before we made it out of town, I had sold a few of the books and made my money back massive way, way time. I had a first edition um, Alice in Wonderland in there that sold for an, an insane amount of money. And then I had some other, I had five signed Mark Twain books, um, had five, I've got three left. Um, but yeah, I, I, it was insane. So anyway, years later, years later of me going through these books and I've been going through them about once a month, I go through and pull out a few, few books and I've got a, I've got a, a, a guy that has a, a rare bookstore. I'll go through and look stuff or he'll call me and say, Hey, do you have this? And I'll go through my, my list. Cause I've got a list of everything that I have and I'll see if I have it and I'll, I'll sell something. So this is years later and I still have over 4,000 books. So yeah, that happens. So when I do build my forever home, I have to have a library. Yeah, so that happened. That happened, and I and I like it. I like I like I love books, you know. So it doesn't matter. And they got a they got a really cool cool. I mean, most of them are really old. Uh, I mean, they were some of them were in the eighteen hundred, some of them fifties, all the way up to the you know like early eighties. So predominantly, uh, they're in the fifties to eighties, uh, nineteen fifty to nineteen eighty. So that's the years of, of publication on a lot of these books. But there's a lot of them that were in the 1800s. Like, I mean, old, old books. Yeah, Knoxville's trash. Especially over there by the convention center. Dude. And uh, and I can I can I can I can honestly say now, I dated a girl that lives in Knoxville. And I died, and I'm not really happy with Knoxville girls. So <laughs> uh, that's right. That's uh, yeah, you met me in the hotel. Uh, I, I don't remember what I came to ask you about. I don't remember, but, uh, yeah. 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 We hung out, we hung out a little bit. Um, it was me, you and troubles hung out in the, uh, in the, in the garage bullshitting for a little while. That was fun. Have any Cherokee books set them aside for you, please. I might. There's a very good, oh, the restaurant manager being a dick. That's right. I wonder whatever happened to him. Um, I wonder whatever happened to that guy. Cause you know, I, I didn't ever talk to the general manager. I, I, I left man. I talked to the managers, uh, multiple managers, I think. Um, at least they said they were managers and, uh, they said they would take care of it. And like I said, I, I hope the guy didn't lose his job or nothing, but I wanted him retrained because what he did was ridiculous. I spent a lot of money there and, uh, we had a lot of rooms and I got, I told everybody to get the fuck out, go somewhere else. <laughs> Oh yeah, so let me tell you what this guy did. So Shonda's in there and she's uh But she's still doing it. Oh I'm glad to get reprimanded. That's good. So Shonda was in there, we were in our little private area in the back because you know of uh, you know what we do. And um she was vaping. And the others had told us it was okay. Well apparently he had told her not to vape. I didn't know this. And so we're sitting there talking and this is one of the first times she's, she met me in real life and she was excited and so on and so forth. Well, she, I, we're talking and she absolutely picked up her vape and vape. Well, he comes around the corner and instead of coming to her, coming to the table and saying something, 
he like four tables away was like you gotta get out of here you gotta get out. i told you once you know baby in there and you're just doing it and you're gonna da, 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 and you're leaving you gotta get out now and I, I, it was so obnoxious i thought he was joking you know what i mean and he wasn't so i was like you know what you piece of shit <laughs> yeah we're out of here Yeah, yeah, funny about that's true. Yeah, the place did look and smell like shit, and the roads were garbage. Um, trying to find, find, trying to like the GPS had me going down all these back roads through a damn, um, through a damn neighborhood and stuff to get to the convention center. When all I had to do was come out of the hotel, make a make a left, go to the big light across the bridge, make a left, go down, make a right, and I was at the convention center. Like it was like it was literally just three turns. This the GPS had me going all kinds of stupid stuff, and the roads were garbage. Uh, 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 Jola, unless you came to the convention, probably not. I don't think I don't think Funny Bones came came and hung out with us at the hotel because he uh, he uh, was doing stuff with the this uh, group of people that he was with. Facebook reported my comment on your feed. What? Oh, uh, all right. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, that's funny. So, Joyster had written on their demonsonly.com a while back. Well, Facebook flagged it. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, the roads, the roads are trash. Yeah. Uh, did he come to the after party? No. No. Bones, you didn't go to the after party at the bar, did you? I don't think you did, did you? No, no, they didn't because they were at the... They had a an event that they were doing with the, the sideshow. Uh, I've seen some Funny Bones stuff. Can't wait to meet him, too. Oh, I love Funny Bones. Funny Bones is an amazing, amazing person. Amazing actor. Amazing clown. He's a good dude. Uh, good morning, Mortis. How are you? After stuff, then I finally got food with the people I was with. The next night, we had color roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Linda. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So let's see. Uh, let's see what he said here. Um, Cause that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess not. Momenta. So yeah, so that's funny. <clears throat> Being dead is a lot of work. That's right. Well, more to so I hope you start feeling better, man. I really hope you start feeling better. But yeah, let's work on something next year. Let's start a couple of us. Uh, Bones, Bones, you. Uh, let's get with you. Get with uh, Biggs. Get with a few other people, and let's find a convention next year that we can all hit up and go to and hang out. And then uh, Bones, of course, you know you're invited to the weekend at the cabin if you would like. I don't know if you're into that, you know, hanging out, fucking go fishing, that kind of stuff. But but uh, you're welcome to to come down to the cabin whenever we decide we're gonna when I'm whenever I rent a cabin for the week. You know you're invited, man. Uh, you invite me so much. Buy some stuff and help me get some chowder, right? Uh, yeah. Put up your put up your uh, store. I I just I got my uh, hoodie and my sticker. Sticker. Do you like it? I said it right. Sticker. Uh, Funny Bones has got some great merch. Yeah, here you go. Good. Pin comment. Go uh, go to Funny Bones store. You can also go to Big Chris Art uh, and uh, buy buy some of my stuff. Go to Big Chris Arts. Uh, uh, you go to abadonapolyon.com. Scroll down. Find Big Chris. Da -da 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 -da, buy my shirt. And then go to Bones's and buy his shirt. And then you could be Abaddon and Bones's friends. We're gonna start a we're gonna start a club. We're gonna start we're gonna start a club, me and Bones. And we're gonna wear hoodies and t-shirts and be cool. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get you some funny bone stickers. I got one. I got a sticker and I got a hoodie. The sticker is on my, you know my, uh, you know my big green Abaddon case that I put put all the stickers on. 
I have two Funny Bone stickers on there now. I have the original Funny Bone sticker on top, and I've got the new sticker on the side. Yeah. Got it. I got it. I did it. And I, I, I think, I'm not quite sure, but I think I'm the first person to order from his store, too. I think I was his first sale when it comes to the shirts. I think. I think. If it's not true, I'm going to lie and say it's true. I went to Crystal's and reached my bloody hand in to pay, and he threw my food at me. Ha, huh, that's funny. That's funny. That's okay. We can wait till you get paid. Just make sure when you get paid, you go spread the love to Funny Bones. I have the stickers personally. They're six each and ten for two. You can pay me on my PayPal at payfunnybones at gmail.com. All right, so let me do this the correct way. Uh, Funny Bones has stickers. You can pay him personally, the $6 each or $10 for two. You can pay him on his PayPal, payfunnybones at gmail.com. If you go and you you purchase these stickers and you send it to the payfunnybones at gmail.com, make sure you get your address so he can ship them out to you promptly. I was the first, oh, see, look, I was the first sell. See, I was the first sell for a hoodie and decal. I, I did it. I did it. It was me. I did it. Ha ha. You can never be first as long as Abaddon is around because I will beat you. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love my hoodie too, man. That thing is comfortable. I'm not even I'm not even kidding. Like I'm not just trying to push his merch. I'm soon I'm I'm honestly telling you, it's my favorite hoodie. The thing is comfortable. It is inside is like soft. It's like being wrapped in a dead hug. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, if you need a lines array or adult toys, hit me up. They're my side hustle. Okay. Uh, message me after this. I want some adult toys. I want to, I want a new girlfriend and, and just, uh, just pick me out a doll and I'll be happy because you know what? I'm tired of the real life things. <laughs> oh, this says draw me as a wolf. Oh, hell yeah. I want to see it, Courtney. Absolutely. I want to see it. That's awesome. Alyssa is the bomb. Funny boner. <laughs> uh, a robot would be cool, but uh, no, I don't. I don't even know uh, because robots talk, and I don't want to listen to no crap. Craft inspired furniture. That's pretty cool. My side hustle is uh, acting. So yeah. How would you call them? <laughs> Y'all are getting bad this morning. Y'all are bad. Y'all are bad. All right, look, it's been a long time. It's uh, 8.59. I've been on here for a while. I've been on here for like more than a minute or two. So I'm probably going to pop off here and let you guys have your amazing day. I'm going to listen to this song, Be Worried by Gravedigger, and I'll check it out and see if see, see if it's any cools, if I likes it. Um, You guys have an amazing day. Stay safe, be kind to each other, love each other, be respectful for each other. Go to Big Chris Arts. Go to abadonapollyon.com, scroll down, find Big Chris Arts. Go there and pre-purchase my shirt or buy my shirt. They will be in stores on or before the 17th. Uh, so you got about 10 days before they hit the stores from what I understand. Um, you need to go get my shirt, seriously. And if you don't go buy my shirt because you don't have money, then go to the site, find the shirt, and share it on your profile or you can go to the Abaddon Apollyon page scroll down it's there share it share it out let's try to get as many cells as I can please so I can make sure I can afford to get some conventions next year that's how I'm paying for this shit so funny bones the same thing go buy his funny bones merch do it please and if you can't purchase it right now then at least share it out and throw, show some love and if you want to support then support please thank you yep and you know the line you know the line. I got to find the page, though, so I can shut this down. So uh, I think it's over here. There it is. So be kind to each other. Love one another. You guys have an amazing day. And love peace and chicken grease. I'm out like the fat kid in dodgeball. Bye.